yo what is going on youtube it is og and today we are back with another 1v1 so obviously with the introduction of gadgets it kind of changes the entire game uh so i wanted to start incorporating them in my 1v1 so i did it for this video if you guys like it i'll continue to do it for them but everyone's kind of still getting a feel for them um for instance this was literally the first time i used any of these gadgets um and same for patchy i think so by the way patchy's uh who i 1v1 you guys will see they're good games uh so I didn't have time really to do the community one. I know I, I should have, but um, we chose really good 1v1 brawlers, I think for the most part. So I wanted to test out Leon's gadget, um, but we're gonna start off, Patchy chose Colt, best 1v1 bra brawler, 100%. Uh, the second game, we're gonna go Leon, which is my choice. It's not bad at 1v1, honestly. Uh, the gadget wasn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something more like LeBlanc's or like passive or like Nico's W of any you guys play like League of Legends. <laughs> But anyways, the third game, we decided to go with BB2, which is why I'm on BB right now. BB is honestly a lot of fun in 1v1s, and she's definitely the best close range brawler. It's all timing, and you know, there is a lot of skill involved with BB. She's definitely one of the highest skill cap brawlers in the game. So like I said, they're all really good games, and I'm excited to go over them with you guys. I didn't want to record it live just because my internet is so bad, um, but we're going to get into the games and just show how they went. Alright guys, so for those of you who aren't familiar with 1v1s, uh, it's typically done on Backyard Bull. The ones that we do at least, there's like gem grab variations, but I think this one, just straight kills, is the funnest. Um, so you just want to destroy all the walls, so it's just like a straight up 1v1. Nothing to hide behind, no grass to hide in. Patchy's going to waste his super, and then usually the dynamite or like just someone that can like jump across like a bull or a primo signals the start. So Hero's going to start it off. By the way, big shout out to Master Walrus Hero. Or clumsy um manoi I, I definitely said that wrong and tyrant for helping out the 1v1 um but just colt 1v1s are definitely the best 1v1s in the game and we're using his gadget so his gadget is he gets two extra shots pretty much so it's actually really good for 1v1s and he's just gonna survive with 10 hp we both use our gadget there um so it's a gadget that's like pretty easy to pick up but it's definitely like really useful and it's really good for 1v1s so i think like for future colt 1v1s i'll just use it because it just like kind of like makes it more action-packed and less stalling uh i'll get patchy right back there though so i think we can just follow me around it's probably like easier than me twirling up and down um but i'll get patchy back there with a the nice like little clip too and it's 1-1 right now. We still got the extra overtime minute. So we're just kind of getting a feel for each other at this point. Get him with another nice shot and then I'll finish him off. Uh, so with Colt 1v1s and pretty much like all the long range 1v1s, it's just like reading movement and like kind of predicting where they're going to be a little bit. Like you can see you also, it's a lot of it's positioning too. You want to like put them in an awkward position. So I thought he was going to go right there. Uh, so I tried like striding right, but he did a good job and juked left and he's landing some good shots on me. He pops his gadget too, just to keep the pressure on me. So at this point, I know I probably lose this gunfight. So I'm just going to like back off and regen a little bit. And I think he makes a mistake here, just like backing off and letting me just walk back in mid, like pretty much unpunished. Um, and I'll get the positioning back again. And you can just see now he's running out of space to back up on. I know he's going to like panic a little bit. So I'm just trying to like outpatient him. And I don't want a repeat of the 10 HP where I just get greedy. So I'm just like, I'm going to wait it out a little bit. And we actually like flip sides of the map, which is something I really don't like doing in 1v1s. It's like, it's just as awkward for them, I guess. Well, maybe not Patchy. He plays a lot of showdown. <laughs> so he's probably like more used to it. Um, he probably should have like just gone from behind me at the start. Um, but I still have the lead at this point and I just survived with 172. Kind of what happened with him at the beginning and I'll get him with my super. I Honestly, I auto him that. I don't trust my aim shooting upside down. I don't have to do it in 3v3s usually. So it's not my forte, but I'll take the first one. I think it was three to one or something, but it was really close and you know, we both kind of got away with like really low HP once or twice. All right guys, so the map is pretty much gone at this point. I think it's either in this game or the next game, there's like one little piece of grass that gets by everyone and me and Patchy can't wall break. So it's just kind of stuck there. I think it's uh, the next one though, cause they did a good job clearing it in this one. And let's just lock on to myself or Patchy. So we're just waiting for someone to kind of signal. Um, and it's gonna be Master Walrus with the bull. This time so we got a minute 10 usually you want to get it around like a minute 20 but that's fine this is literally the first time i've ever used the super so i had no idea what it was i think it should have more than just like one hp and like i i like the idea because you can be tricky with it but it's not like really good for 3v3s i think maybe you could get some use out of it in showdown but um i was i was very disappointed with it Obviously the gadgets are super new, so there's still like a lot of balancing, but me and Patchy are pr uh, trading pretty evenly here. 
Um, so we're using Invisiheal also. I'm not sure what one, like I just use Invisiheal. So I was like more comfortable on it. I don't play very much Leon, even though I do like, I really like Leon. He's just not very good, unfortunately. But um, you can see I'm getting a little aggro here. I wanted to get a kill, but we're gonna trade pretty evenly and I'll get him to use a super first and the pop is, it's not, it, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of the 1v1 and it just like goes for the dynamite. Um, but I waste my super there. I do take him out though and get the one nothing lead. Um, but the gadgets, I just get mine out because hopefully it's going to like distract Patchy, but it's just like locks onto Tyrant Star and it's like harassing him. Um, so it's just going to like stand there in the corner and just get taken out eventually. Not like it was doing much good. Patchy's going to get some good shots off me and get a super first. Um, so I know I got to be careful here. I'm trying to predict where he is and just, I have my finger ready uh, just to pre-fire, but if I had like my shot ready, I could have got him, but he recharged faster. So nice kill from Patchy there and ties it up one to one. 40 seconds left. Pretty even, I'd say. Um, I think I'm closer to my super, but he's not that far off just because of all the value he got. So we'll both get super at pretty much the same time and he will use his first. Um, now I wanted to just wait it out and then get some damage on him and then I could use my super. Um, so he doesn't really know where I am right now, right? So I'm just trying to like get close and just survives three HP. I didn't see that he had three HP. That's so, <laughs> that's so rough. Um, but he'll take me out because he gets a super right back, but I didn't, this is my first time going over the game. So the three HP really hurts. And then Tyron's just gonna throw me over his head. I really like <laughs> He was doing that the entire time. Uh, it's a cool start for our gadget, but three HP that kind of sucks Patrick's gonna take uh, game number two. All right guys game number three So it is tied 1-1 right now uh, This is the game where the little piece of grass survives and they both have super but <laughs> I thought master walrus is gonna for go for it But it doesn't matter. I don't even think we end up back there at all this game uh, So we're both using BB with the gadget of course and speed star power as you guys can tell So I'm gonna get the first hit and I really like BB 1v1s like I'm not really the best BB 3v3s i think i have potential but i never really was given the opportunity but i really like her in 1v1s just because it's like all timing and like reading people's movements which i really like doing so patchy kind of oversteps there and i'll just get him unfortunately my bubble does hit tyrant which little bit of an advantage um but you can't really do much tyrant's gonna throw me over his head definitely definitely worth um but i i predict it a little wrong i missed time and i'm just gonna have to kite back here and i'll try like scaring him back a little bit i miss again uh so not really in the best situation, but I do have my uh, gadget ready, so I'll heal up, and then I do get my bubble right here. Um, so now I just got to dodge one or hit him first, and then I'm in the lead, and I can just kind of spam him out at that point because he did get too close again. Tyra's going to come by, throw me over his head, a little celebration. <laughs> I really like having a primo in the room for the 1v1s. They can just like toss the person who killed the other one over their head. <laughs> but um, so right, up, right now I'm up 2 nothing and... I'm definitely getting the better of the little guy in this one so i'm just kind of like kiting him back and he is like shooting like pretty early so i think i can get like a good bubble hit there and just start working on it right back um so i know i can just kind of spam him out at that point i do have my gadget going his bubble hits mw and clumsy like three times so i think that kind of evens out for me hitting like tyrant once and i'll charge the bubble right back off that it's not his fault it's just bb's bubble is kind of wild right um so i'll get a nice little knockback on him too and then i at that point i should have just like committed and like killed him but it doesn't really matter because i know i can just be patient and like one more hit and then the bubble and i'll take him out as well i think tyrant might be out of uh his gadget unfortunately so no overhead throw but it's 3-1 for me right now at this point i already know i won so i'm like okay you know what i might as well just like kind of yolo um i won already and Maybe I can get one more, but I was being like reckless. Uh, so Patchy's gonna get one kill back on us and make it 3-1, but all the games were really close and really well played from the little guy. All right guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. Big shout out to Patchy for coming on for a 1v1. Uh, let me know who you guys want me to see or to 1v1 next. I kind of have a list, but like I'm open to doing other people as well. As long as they're interested, um, I made like a Twitter post and like a bunch of people replied. So I got a good a list to choose from. But uh, also go check out Patchy's YouTube. I'll include it in the description and I'll pin it below as well. Anyways, um, big shout out to Patchy for coming on the channel. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the use of gadgets in the 1v1s. Obviously, it's only going to be good with some brawlers, but it's cool. I think I just got to start getting used to them. But, uh, if you were watching my stream the other day, I spent like 100 because I wasn't getting any in my shop. And like today, I got Mr. P's for the first time ever uh, for the first gadget in my shop ever. But 
you know, uh, you got to get used to gadgets. They're going to be a part of the game. They're not going anywhere. Um, some of them are really like messed up. Some of them are really good, but hopefully they'll just balance them. They're brand new. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, guys, thank you for checking out the video. Go check out Patchy's stuff. Big shout out to everyone that helped. And that's going to be for today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.